would you introduce yourself, please? Yes, I, I am Zero. I'm from Pakistan and I'm a PhD student here at USD at Tree School. I'm Astrid. I'm also a USD student in MP School and I'm from Indonesia. Hello, my name is Chinali. I'm also a USD school. USD at Tree School in Master School. Okay, I was just school. <laughs> Okay, so you are Korean, right? Yes, I'm oh. also Korean. Okay. <laughs> I'm Korean, but to keep consistency with my colleagues, I will speak English. Just oh, great. And he can speak English every day anyway. Oh, so I see. We should conversation in English every day, so... Oh, I see. Nice. Uh, our Korean is so bad, so... <laughs> okay. <laughs> You guys uh, published one paper recently, so would you tell me about this paper? Uh, this paper is about an artificially intelligent uh, CCTV surveillance system. Uh, so this one is about uh, automatically detecting if something bad happens uh, when wherever we are looking at through the camera. Mm. So uh, the background behind this paper is uh, you can imagine that you are in a in a security room. So there might be a lot of cameras, uh, camera feeds coming on the screen. So it is very hard to see everything from every camera 24 hours a day, right? Mm -hmm. So this was our motivation to design a system that can learn and then uh, track down those bad events, for example, like robbery or car accident or some fighting or uh, this kind of, any kind of like bad events. Oh. So that it can detect automatically and then uh, to make this system learn we actually try to feed it a lot of videos so it, it watches uh, thousands of videos uh -huh. with like uh, some of them have some examples of bad events uh -huh. and some of them are completely like no bad events are happening in those videos and it can automatically uh, detect like eventually it learns automatically to find out or locate those bad events Wow, so uh, how does technology can be used in our daily lives in the future, like commercialized? In our daily life, I think it would make our world more secure because, uh, you know, we have surveillance cameras everywhere in the world right now. Mm -hmm. uh, in Korea especially, you know, it's like every street corner has one Mm -hmm. So in that sense, if we can deploy this system in, in the real world, in behind those uh, cameras, so I think we can make our world more secure without uh, relying on the human error or human negligence. Oh. Our system can quickly detect if something is wrong and then it can prompt for the, the authorities to respond as soon as possible. Yeah, right, right. So we don't really need to wait until the report comes to the police station. Uh -huh. So at least we can have the early warning, okay, something happened, like, oh, there is robbery here. So the police can uh, take care of it. Oh, that's, that's great. So uh, all three of you guys wrote this paper together. Huh. And I wonder how you write the research paper all together as a team? Well, as we are working as a researcher in this institute and we are also students, but we have our own research but also need to do some kind of task. So everyone has different tasks and it's hard to keep track of everyone. Mm -hmm. So once in a week we gather together to have a lab meeting. Mm -hmm. We share our work progress mm -hmm. along like something like what kind of problem we face and mm -hmm. how we solve it or what kind of plans we are going to have to solve these kind of problems. Oh. So with this kind of meeting once in every week, we can share our perspective, different perspective on these kind of problems and you can rethink about something you could have missed when you work alone. Oh. So this kind of cooperation is very important and also with the writings, it's hard to find your own mistakes in your writing. So right. we share our papers together and we and comment each other mm -hmm. to pick out something we could have missed. So that and kind of cooperation is very important. And sometimes we heavily criticize each other's work <laughs> yeah. like on weekly basis. So really? that I think also improves our overall quality of the work in general. Yeah. But do, do you, if, when you, this argument get heavier, uh, don't you have any kind of bad feelings to each other? No? No, not really. Oh, I think really? like if someone is criticizing <laughs> yeah. our work, they are trying to improve it in general. Mm -hmm. 
so we all have like different sets of experiences like we have uh, a slightly different field that we work in so we have paper readings from different fields like a uh, very uh, neighboring but different fields so in general we have different experiences and based on those we try to improve each other's work no. and i think eventually it gets better like our work gets better and sometimes we can get idea from a little bit different field actually oh. so we we work in three different fields well maybe psychom and jinha sort of similar uh -huh. but i also have a little bit uh, different well i have kind of side job with the with this work with this paper but i also have my own research uh -huh. so i can have a point another point of view that oh. okay this idea from this area can be used for this area mm -hmm. it's it's good this yeah it will improve everybody i see so what's the difficulties that you are facing uh, when you are researching or writing paper all together, well, I think you already mentioned it, but the most difficult part, what what is it? Uh, actually, we are kind of good team. <laughs> <laughs> we are like yeah, we are yeah, we are good, and then well, at most, at most, probably like okay, when we write the paper and it's almost deadline, so we have to stay at night, so until late, until midnight, so it just. Well, we have to move it together. So, well, we need sac yeah. to sacrifice. Sometimes, yeah. it's like I'm the lazy one, so I, <laughs> I can delay my work until the last minute, often times, and uh -huh. then they have to sit with me because our deadline is like tomorrow morning. Uh -huh. So we all have to finish this paper. Uh -huh. So this kind of thing happens. Uh -huh. Not really like this, but anyway, it happens in a way. Yeah. <laughs> One more problem can be that English is not actually our own mother tongue. Yeah. So sometimes you can have some problem with conversation, like mm -hmm. how to deliver my thoughts. That's right. kind of one of the problems we can have. But actually, Jina's English is really good compared to other like engineering majoring actually, students, no, I do, think. But I'm not really that good at <laughs> yeah. So we need to talk in English every day, so uh -huh. well, I get used to it somehow. Yeah. Our group is like you see, we are three and from three different nationalities. Uh -huh. So English is what is the most common thing between us. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> like yeah. uh, except well, the research. Really impressive. <laughs> so <laughs> okay. So this time the conference was held online, right? So I wonder how it was and how did you feel about it? Well, I think like based on our previous experience that we attended some uh, like talk conferences on our field physically i would say that i hope this thing and finish uh, oh. like this thing ends quickly this uh -huh. covid thing ends quickly so we can have our normal conferences back uh -huh. because online conference it is a different concept it's a new concept and the world is still getting used to it mm. but the people they are not very social if they are online oh so somehow uh, in front of the camera and the screen, you don't feel that comfortable mm -hmm. oftentimes. Mm -hmm. So it's hard to communicate, it's hard to socialize with different people, and it's hard to, you know, express your own ideas. Mm -hmm. It's hard to develop new uh, collaborations. So mm -hmm. everything that we usually expect from a general conference or from, a, uh, from an international conference, mm -hmm. so that's not happening online. Mm -hmm. So I think we all attended this conference, so maybe you can agree, or you may agree with that. No souvenir. <laughs> oh yeah, no souvenir. <laughs> and no sightseeing, you know. Uh, right. That's I think uh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's our motivation in academics to have like traveling for free. <laughs> yeah, of course, of course. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like mm. yeah. Uh, so I have another question for all of you. Uh, how do you feel about being a student at USC? <laughs> it's the pop. So, Top question. The biggest difference between UST and normal university students can be we are working in the institute. Mm -hmm. So we are more related to the field works. Mm -hmm. We can attend to those kind of works mm -hmm. directly. So we can have more experience. And along with it, there's a lot of experienced doctors around this kind of this university uh, institute. Mm -hmm. So we can have more assist from those I see. workers. I see. So thanks for being here today. It was nice to meeting you all. It was nice meeting you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>
Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.